The past few months have forced us all to re-examine our lifestyles, how we live, what we spend, and how we save. NBC 10's consumer investigative reporter Leslie Gatiss takes a look at some of the top financial lessons we can learn from this pandemic. When COVID-19 hit the U.S., the lives of many were quickly turned upside down. Jobs and paychecks gone resulted in personal financial disasters. COVID-19 was a big example of the unexpected. I think the big takeaway from COVID-19 is the value of proper planning. We can do personal finance analyst Vera perfect. Gibbons says there are a number of financial lessons learned from this pandemic. Chief among them, you must always have an emergency fund. This is an emergency, and without that emergency fund, Americans are going to be forced to actually tap other accounts, maybe take out a loan, a payday loan, which is a big no-no. So without that emergency fund, people are in a very tough position. If you don't have an emergency fund to cover your expenses for a few months, start one as soon as you can. Divert money into that account whenever possible. And if you already have one, continue to beef it up. And Gibbons says now is the time to revisit your family's budget. Take the money you would have been using on commuting costs, dry cleaning, and entertainment, and put it in a place where it can grow. If you are fearful you may lose your job, or if you've already had a pay cut by 20%, then you should right off the bat reduce your spending by 20%. If not more than that, if you were living above your means before COVID-19, now's the time to really rein in the spending big time. She also advises separating essential from non-essential spending. Get rid of the things you probably don't need. The essential spending would be your housing, your shelter, things of that nature. Your non-essential stuff would be all the other stuff you want, but probably don't need. Another financial lesson learned from this pandemic, don't overlook the importance of estate planning and investing in your retirement. Gibbon says continue to contribute to your 401k, and if you have to borrow from it, don't drain it. So people who have been sitting around thinking, I should do my will eventually, I will do my will eventually, I will work on the estate planning eventually. Well, eventually it came fast and furiously, so now you have millions of Americans updating the wills, updating their estate planning, doing the end of life directives. They're really taking it to a level that they should have taken a while ago. Kids are also learning lessons from this pandemic. So if you haven't done so already, talk to your kids about the value of a dollar and learning to live with less. Leslie Gatiss, NBC 10 Boston.